The Glenelg River is a really special waterway. It, it comes from the Grampians National Park and being 500 kilometres long, it's the largest river in, in our region. Unfortunately, white settlement has taken its toll on the river. With all the grazing, there was a lot of native vegetation clearance and from that there was a lot of erosion. In the 1960s and 70s, a lot of the river was desnagged. We now know that it's really important, not just as habitat for fish like um, the blackfish, but it's also really important in maintaining channel form. The CMA has been restoring the Glenelg River since its inception in 1997. We've invested $8 million into improving not only the river but a lot of the, um, the smaller tributaries. Much of this funding has gone um, as grants to the local community. Landholders are able to access grants from the CMA to carry out works such as fencing out rivers, revegetating, and they can also get access for alternate stock watering if they had once um, access water from, from the river. The CMA has constructed over 650 kilometres of fencing along the Glenelg River and its tributaries. As well as that, there's been 1,000 hectares of revegetation. Other works that the CMA have carried out include um, major upgrades to infrastructure. More recently, flows have returned to the Glenelg River, mainly naturally, but probably also helped by environmental flows. And as a result, we've seen increase in fish numbers and a marked change in the channel form of the river. We've also put in engineered erosion control structures where the erosion was just so bad that native vegetation solutions wouldn't work. As part of the restoration project, we've worked with literally hundreds of farming families. As a result, we've been able to put more fencing in in our region than in any other region in Victoria. Caston communities sees the Ganelg River as very important part of our town. My connections through fishing, I've been a long time passionate fisherman and ever since I was a small boy I've fished this river and I've traipsed along the length and breadth from Durgham right through to Nelson. Oh, the changes since CMA have introduced these uh, works here since 2003 has been dramatic. It's, um, the river's gone from a drain full of sand back to um, a channel form with reeds and weed growth again. Uh, the reintroducing of the snags to the river has created habitat for uh, the fish to live in. And yeah, just generally everything's improved and we've gone back to having holes instead of a flat riverbed of sand. After the restoration works that have occurred, the fish have returned along with uh, platypus and water rats, that's yeah, really good at the moment. Part of the Kelpie Trail which follows the river through the township of Caston here was um, built by the Friends of the Ganelg River, uh, which was a group formed back in 2003 to bring the community back to the river and some of the works done by the CMO for the sand extraction and reintroduction of the snags etc. So it's been a community learning event and it's connected people again to the river.